Chapter 2 Electronic Mail What is Internet? The Internet is a network of millions of computers from all over the world that allows users to share information and communicate with each other. It is a network of computers interconnected throughout the world with the help of telephone lines and satellites. Email Email stands for electronic mail. It is a mail that is sent electronically from one computer to another over the Internet. Email could be in the form of a text message, a picture or an audio, video message. There are various search engines that allow users to create an email account for free. Examples, Yahoo, Gmail, Bing. An email address usually has two parts your user ID and the names of the email service provider. These are separated by the symbol at. An email address looks like student underscore role underscore no one at gmail.com. Parts of the email and details. Student underscore role underscore no one. This is called as user ID and it is used to sign in into the email service. Notice how underscore is used to separate words in the name. Since an email ID cannot contain spaces and has to be unique the symbol underscore is used to connect many words and make sure your email address is unique. You can use numbers in your email lid as well. At, this sign is read as at. It separates the username from the name of the email service gmail.com it indicates the name of the email service provider this is an address used for the email service provider by google opening a new email account let us see how to open an email account on gmail 1 go to http colon slash slash www.gmail.com 2 click on the button create account 3. Fill all the required details in the registration form. Type your username, password and click on next. 4. The verify your phone number page will open. Now enter your phone number. 5. The verification code is sent on your number. Enter the code to verify. Click I agree button at the end of the page. 6. Now, you have created your Gmail account. An email message is made up of three parts. Header. The message header contains information concerning the sender and recipients. Body. Content of the email. Signature. Salutations and details of the sender. The header field from specifies the sender's email address. It contains the sender's email address. It is automatically generated by the sender's email server. The header field specifies the person who will receive the message. It contains one or more email addresses for emailing multiple recipients, separated with a comma. The header field date and time indicates when the message was sent. It contains date and time and it is automatically provided by the email server. The subject header field specifies the subject of the email. It contains email subject. It is provided by the sender. The size header field specifies the size of the email message. It contains email message size. It is automatically provided by the server. Composing an email Composing an email means creating an email and then sending it to the recipient. To compose an email, the following are the steps. 1. Click on Compose option on the left side of the page to open new message window. 2. It consists of three major sections, header, body, and footer. Header. The message header generally includes the following fields. 2. To whom you wish to send the email. CC. It stands for carbon copy. All additional recipients are disclosed to the main recipient. BCC, it stands for blind carbon copy. Additional recipients are not disclosed to the main recipient. Subject, 
A brief summary of the contents of the message is typed in this box. Body Content is written in the body of the message. Footer Send button Attach files and discard Draft buttons are available on the footer. We can send attachments like documents, images, videos, etc. to the recipient by clicking on Attach File button. Receiving an email Click on Inbox To read your new messages, click on the names that appear in the From column. This will bring up a new screen with the content of the message. When you have finished reading the message you can click on Inbox to view other new messages. Unread messages are always displayed in bold. Forwarding an email. An email received in the inbox can be sent to other people. This is called forwarding an email. Follow these steps to forward an email to any contact. 1. Click on the email to open it. 2. Select the forward option from the drop-down list. 3. Type the email ID into along with a subject. 4. Click on Send.